Hello, I'm Albert, and I'm here to present IcePole, my project on efficient computation of dice pull probabilities. Um, I'm going to start out with uh, exam motivating example and demo. So Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, you have characters who have six basic statistics called ability scores, strength, dexterity, constitution, tone, wisdom, and charisma. Uh, so since the early days of Dungeons and Dragons and up to this day, designers, players, and DMs have come up with various methods of randomly generating these ability scores using dice. There's a couple of them. Uh, First, you could roll four six-sided dice, drop the lowest one, add them together. That's one ability score. Repeat this six times, and you got your six ability scores. That's kind of the standard to this day. Uh, another one, roll three six, three six-sided dice, that is, 12 times, and then pick the best six, and so on and so forth. Now, we may be interested in the probability distribution of ability scores produced by this. For example, uh, what's the total of all your ability scores, or what's your highest ability score, or second highest, and so forth. If we want to know this, maybe we try going to any dice, which is probably today's most popular dice probability calculator, with good reason. I am not here to brag on any dice, but it's not quite sufficient for some of these problems. So if you have a pool of six ability scores, you hit the calculate button, uh, goes to server, comes back pretty soon with your result. But if you go to say 10 dice or 10 ability scores, I should say, calculate it, it starts taking a while. And then if you go to two more dice, then you hit calculate, you wait a while and uh, it hits the uh, execution time limit. Uh, now, any dice is not open source, but we can infer that it's most likely enumerating all possible sorted uh, sets of ability scores, which in this case is a n to the 15th algorithm. So technically not exponential, but uh, obviously not great. Now, can we do better? Of course, the answer is yes, we can. Uh, here's a calculator I built, built on IcePool, and if we click here, uh, like I can just scroll upwards. Um, it can do more than this. Uh, another game called Cortex Prime, you roll a pool of mixed dice uh, and keep some of them, adding them together, it can do that too. Uh, adding is not the only thing we can do. Here's yet another game called Legends of the Woolen. You roll a bunch of 10 side dice, look for a matching set. The 10th digit is the number of dice in the matching set and the ones digit is the number shown. And once again, uh, we can go up and down pretty comfortably. Okay, uh, how's this work? Uh, here's a brief explanation. You provide what I call a single pass transition function. Basically you start with a default state, you give it, a, the transition function sees how many ones you got, how many twos you got, and iteratively updates until you reach the all the numbers. Uh, combine this with the dice pool you want to validate on, and then we have the dynamic programming algorithm that recursively computes the solution using solutions to simpler dice pools, that is fewer dice and or fewer faces. Each path here corresponds to one possible sorted role, but thanks to dynamic programming, we only need to compute each edge once. Uh, that's that. Uh, you can find all these examples, source code, etc. on my GitHub.